In the previous lesson, we were using Markup within the Files app here on my iPad. I'm going to tap Done here, and then head out to Mail. From here, I'm going to compose a new email, and after entering my recipient and subject, I'll add an attachment, which is going to be the sample essay from Files. That's placed in the body of the email as a PDF. If I single tap on it, notice that we have a markup button. The box I created with markup in files is still there, and it's still selectable here in mail, so I could remove it if I wanted to when sending the file in this email. Instead, I'm actually going to add some text to the PDF by tapping the Add button and then Text. That places a text box onto the page. Tap and drag to move it. Single tap on it and we can edit the text. So I'm going to enter the text that I want to add. And then with the text box still selected, I can tap the font button here to adjust the font, size, and alignment. To apply a specific color to the text, just make sure the text box is selected and tap the desired color. I might want to sketch in a quick arrow here too. Tap Done and the markup changes performed here in Mail are applied to the version of the PDF that's being sent, but not the one that's saved in Files. After sending this, if I head back to the Files app, we can see that just the box is still applied, not the new text or arrow. So when you're using Markup in Files, the Photos app, or Notes, the changes you make with Markup are saved with the document. But when you're sending a file via Mail or iMessage and use Markup as you're sending, it's only applied to the sent version of the file. Over on my iPhone, I'm working on an image within the Notes app, but we have the same markup interface with the exact same text tool. So I can add and edit text here just as I did in Mail. Tap Done and the change is made to the image in this note. 